Hello and welcome to the room here on Trihackney. We've got another one called Olsen today. It's an old room, but I kind of want to do it now. It's been um, 1,246 days old, so it's it's a free room, so anyone can do it. Anyways, so open source intelligence. How much can we possibly get from one photo? Let's go ahead and download it, I guess. Let's just open it first of all. And typical Windows XP background. We have some questions to be asked. Uh, answered avatar, city person, so I guess we need to find something in the pictures. Let's go ahead and download it. Let's go to the terminal and let's see this one here. Go to downloads. And let's go ahead and do an EXIF tool on Windows. XP, I guess it's called. Yeah, I'll have two of them. <coughs> and as we can see here, we got some um, metadata information from the image. We got the, uh, we have some copyright name here, O Wood Flint, and we have some GPS locations could could be used for something. Um, but I want to take this name here and just go to Google and paste it. In. And as you can see, I I kind of did this room at some point because I I had to reset it. But we can see different kind of things. Typing this um, name, we got a Twitter account, got a WordPress account. We got some probably a GitHub page. It seems like you know I haven't clicked on it before. Gonna take the Twitter account first of all, and we see that there is a cat picture, and we see a BSSID. So let's uh, copy paste the BSSID. Also, let's go ahead and answer the question. For avatar, I guess it's a cat. What did the person live in? We don't know so far, but we got a BSSID, and we can put that into Wiggle in the filter here, and we should be able to. Get a small hit. Uh, we have it right there, as you can see. And I guess just from that, he's in London. So let me just type London. Okay. So what is the SSID of the web he connected to the web um, wireless access point? Let's go to Wiggle and zoom into this. So what? what, what? for me a lot yes oh I lost it where are you again oh please don't there we have it so we're gonna zoom zoom Zoom. Zoom. It was there just a tad ago and now it's gone. Why? Log in to Wiggle to use this feature. All right, so I'm gonna create a profile. All right, so we registered with my user security in mind. And let's get to the point now. So let's see if we can find it. Yeah, it says, Just need to zoom even more. Why is that up? I can copy paste this. It. So it's called Unilever Wi Fi. Okay, I'm gonna take this. A little bongy uh, on the wiggle. 
the personal email address wow yeah okay so I think we got as much as we could from this page here let's go back and visit the um, the github page I think it is and then we have this email address here it's called o with flint gmail so let's take this put it in what site did you find uh, github I think where has he gone on holiday and um, personal password okay so let's go um, one step back and we still need to visit this WordPress site here where it says I'm in New York so let's go see if this is gonna be our answer New York and the person's password now I don't really know about person password but I just figured I'm gonna you know and this is something I just did accidentally, you know, I just marked the whole screen and then I, I, you know, the password just popped up. There are no real clues to find this, you need to kind of look through the source code and stuff, but you know, this is the password. And I kind of stumbled upon it accidentally when I did the room, I remember, I remember me just doing something like this and then I was like oh, what is this and, and then I was like okay it looks like something and I noticed that there was a you know a, a interesting small dot period here so I figured okay this can be the password other than that I have no really advice to find the password it just you know it was accidentally found by me you could also go through the source code I guess and and if, if you do that you'll notice that there is a small p tag with a cheesy way of making the color of the text wide and which is a really bad way to well uh, share your password for your Wi-Fi access point so I guess for this room um, open source intelligence it's kind of important that you know how to do that you know with just little information you can get a lot so that was just one example of one photo what you can get from it you know if it's just casually taken and if you're using some sort of iPhone or something, it's probably gonna tag images, I guess, you know, in some way. I'm not really sure. I, I don't do a lot of, you know, imagery uh, forensics. It's not what I do the most of, but I, I, I certainly know how to do different kind of things. Anyways, I really hope you learned something from, something from this video and just wanna say happy to see you online again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.